to EFT time, energy psychotherapy. In the meridians are emotions. And when you tap on a meridian and verbalize a core issue, you can release and let go of fears and phobias, um, anxiety, depression, guilt, anger, sadness, pain. I mean, there's not much you can't change with this technique. And it's so simple and so easy. So today we're going to be working on getting rid of the desire to smoke. So Carol, this is going to be fun today. We're going to do the best we can to see if we can have you lose your desire for those cigarettes. Now you happily brought one with you that was in your purse, and I want you to pick up that cigarette for me, if you will, and smell it. And on a scale of zero to 10, tell me what desire. Zero means I have no desire. 10 means I really want to smoke this. Tell me what comes up. You mean up. like I really want to smoke this right now? What would it be? Seven. Okay, that's a good number. If you're doing an addiction for cigarettes, if you're doing it for uh, potato chips, chocolate, ice cream, alcohol, pick it up and find out what your desire is right now. Zero means no desire. 10 is, ooh, I really want this. So you're at a seven, which is a fairly strong desire. I really do want this. Only now, if we were outside, that was the trigger. Are there different places for you? Are there, is there a place for you that you really want to smoke more than any other place? Yes, my studio. Now, we're going to be tapping on the meridians today, and you're going to be following me and where those meridians are. I'm going to show you at home. I'm going to quickly show you where the meridians are so that you can follow along more easily. And they're a little sore, tender spot right there on the chest. The next one is on the crown at the back, crown chakra. Is it right? sore back there? Yeah. Yeah, where the hair is going every which way, the cowlick. Okay. Next one's on the eyebrow point. Next one's on the side of the eye. That's it. Under the eye. Under the nose. On the chin. Collarbone. Thymus in the middle of the chest. Maybe under the arm we use, which is in the middle of your bra strap, ladies. Yeah. Men, just pretend. And side of the hand. And that's probably all we'll be using today. Okay. okay. So let's go to your sore spot and start gently rubbing. And you're going to say the words that I'm saying unless you want to add something else. All right, so we're going to say out loud, even though even I really want to smoke a lot of the time. Say the words. Even though I really want to smoke a lot of the time. I'm still wonderful anyway. I'm still wonderful anyway. <laughs> even though I love my cigarettes. Even though I love my cigarettes. I'm still a great person. I'm still a great person. Top of the head, I really love smoking. I really love smoking. There are times when there's nothing like it. There are times when there's nothing like it. I really like that first drag. Is that? I, I really, really love like that first, first drag. drag. I really love the smell. I really love what that cigarette does for me. I really love what that cigarette does for me. What does it do for you, buddy? None of these are 100% true, though. No, what, it doesn't matter, yeah. it, as long as there's something in there that <laughs> resonates with it. It's a distraction. OK, it's I really love the distraction under the eye. I really love the distraction. That cigarettes give me. That cigarettes give me. Under the nose. I really love the distraction and the, and the numbing effect. I really love mm -hmm. the distraction and the numbing effect that cigarettes give me. Collarbone, I'm really quite dependent on it. I'm really quite dependent on it. I mean, every day I look forward to it. Every day I look forward to it. It scares me to think that I'm going to give it up. It scares me to think that I'm going to give it up. That's true, isn't it? Isn't yes, it that's scary? true. Yes, OK. Top of the head, I'd really like to have breath that didn't have sm a smell. I'd really like to have breath that didn't smell like cigarettes. And, and clothing that didn't smell like cigarettes. And clothing that didn't smell like cigarettes. I'd really like to let go of the desire for those cigarettes. I'd really like to let go of the desire for those cigarettes. I really <laughs> don't want to want them anymore. I really don't want to want them anymore. I love to have that cigarette in my studio. I love to have that cigarette in my studio and on my porches at my house. And on my porch at my house. <laughs> and those of you at home, name your favorite place where you love to have those cigarettes or whatever else it is that you want to stop doing. I really want to want to quit. I really want to want to quit. I'm just scared of quitting. I'm just scared of quitting. Because I don't know what it would be like. 
Because I don't know what it would be like. I'd really like to let go of the desire for cigarettes. I'd really like to let go of the desire for cigarettes. I don't even want them to smell good. I don't even want them to smell good. I really <laughs> don't want to want them anymore. I really don't want to want them anymore. I really don't want to want cigarettes anymore. I really don't want to, to want the cigarettes anymore. I love to have that cigarette in my studio. I love to have that cigarette in my studio and on my porches at my house. And on my porch at my house. <laughs> and those of you at home, name your favorite place where you love to have those cigarettes or whatever else it is that you want to stop doing. I really want to want to quit. I really want to want to quit. And I really do want to quit. And I really do want to quit. I'm just scared of quitting. I'm just scared of quitting. Because I don't know what it would be like. Because I don't know what it would be like. I may even have told myself it helps my painting. Yes, I may even have told myself it helps my art and my productivity. But that may not be a fact. It may not be a fact. It may just be an excuse. It may just be an excuse. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. I like distractions. A way of putting things off. I would like to not have that distraction. I would like to not have that distraction. If I still choose to put things off, if I still choose to put things That's off. That's my choice. That's my choice. But I don't want to use cigarettes as, a cho as an excuse. But I don't want to use cigarettes as an excuse to put things off. Hey, pick up the cigarette and s see if your number is still at a seven. Remember, you're not thinking about smoking here. You're thinking about smoking outside. And remember at home, zero is... Zero means I don't want it. Three. Ten means I really do. So we've gone from a seven to a three. That's good. Cigarettes are a habit. Cigarettes are a habit. They're my crutch. They're my crutch. They're my distraction. They're my distraction. But I really don't want to smoke anymore. But I really don't want to smoke anymore. Look at the cigarette. I'm losing my desire for you. I'm losing my desire for you, Sherm. <laughs> You don't have the same power over me anymore. You don't have the same power over me anymore. I've lost my addiction. I've lost my addiction. I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. I'm really ready to be a non-smoker. I'm really ready to be a non-smoker. I love this idea under the arm. Yeah, it's a tough one to get to. I love this idea of being a non-smoker. I love this idea of being a non-smoker. I've broken the habit. I've broken the habit. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, pick it up and have a look again. Test what number pops up. Think about smoking it. Zero. Is it really? I felt it in my <laughs> stomach. Made me a little nervous when I said it. Oh my goodness. Thank you.